ëndrat, dëshirat e përjetimet janë ato që mbajnë të kse cili njeri për një të ardhme më të mirë, për një jetë dinamike që përbalon gjithdo sfid. Udhëtimet, eksperiencat e ndryshme të gërshetuara me studim e formoj një person të gjejve të veten e të bëj realitet ëndrat e pasionet me sukses. Për shëndetje të dashur miq, ja ku jemi në këtë prezentim, ku dëshirojmë të usielin kujtime, ndodhi personale plot kolorit nga personalitetet e njërzve të thjesht të komunitetit shqiptaro-amerikan nga arti, muzikës, filmi, mjekësia e të fushve të ndryshme. Në këtu dhe tim do përpichemi të usielin ndodhi e faktet i gjala, plot dashuri, emocion e të, e të cilat shpresojmë të kënajqim. Pra, mirë se erdhët në këtë bashkë bisedin, Të dëshiruar se do të përjetoni copcat e jetës plot kënajsi për te oceanit bushur maluar për Shqipërin. Ndishni, shikim e ndëgjim të kanëshëm. Mirë se erdhët në vebra shqiptare, unë që e më anja, jam këtu me Gjina Luari, një vajzë e re që ka shumë restorante në Connecticut dhe këtu jemi të restorant i ri i saj. Gjina, si e një sot? Falem deri të përdesën, falem deri që erdhe të përderi në Kënareke. Um, edhe jam shumë e excited to have you guys here edhe të flasim për bisnesin and you know. Jemi shumë kurios për të didur pak për, për jetën tënde që si ka arritur të ha për gjithë të restorante në kaj që moshtë të re. Um, dhe je vajzë shqiptare, ta një amerikanës edhe kërë shumë vite këtu. Uh, flasim pak për ku ke lindur, um, origina jote dhe... Yeah. Okay. Um, kam lindur në Lushnje, uh, në Natën Njeshin, i edhe këtu në Natën Tjetën. Uh, në, në Lushnje isha 6 vjetë që kërë edhe. Uh, këtu kam 22 vjetë um, edhe në Lushnje edhe në, you know, në Shqipëri kishim restaurant. Për të rjetën tim e përndit kam qenë në restaurant. Um, mm-hmm. Nuk, nuk mbajnë me të jetë pa restaurant, um, edhe kur isha like, 6 vjeqë, very of line, edhe shkoni, like, shkoni në restaurant, i se mami në lindë në shpi, për restaurant ishe like, 2 minuta nga shpia, se so, merja ta i bishja, ishe 4 më duke, dhe shkoja në restaurant, kjesi atje, edhe ajo ishe e vetë mja vend që mund të gjerë prindrit në restaurant, se kur nuk ishe në shpi, you know? So edhe ku erdhëm në Amerikë, um, babi filloj ditën e dytë në Amerikë në restorant. Edhe pas asaj, um, pas djetë djetë më duket, mo, uh, e blem atë restorant që a i filloj punën. Edhe um, u futë dhe mami ati i brenda në restorant edhe... Pas djetë djetë vjetësh e, e, e filloj punë. Pa. Pa, pa. Pas edhe ti vetë? Ja, pas edhe unë vetë. Unë filloj va hostess. You know, isha në Shqipëri për, për blena ta restaurantin, isha në Shqipëri për 2 muaj. Dhe sa e dhe asë, se ishin ishi në like, proces të bimi në restaurantin, se na qënë në Shqipëri për 2 muaj, se kisha 10 djetë bashkuar në Shqipëri. Se kur këte, ba, uh, shkove direkt të punë, like, kisha no choice, um, I was a hostess. Se ishe 14 djetë, 15 djetë më duket, so u futa direkt në hostessing, dhe I hostess, Deri sa kur isha në 6 vjetë, të një 2 vjetë, um, kur fillot puna këtu, you know, oh. so 6 vjetë a fillova kamarire, edhe kur nova kamarire, deri sa të futësha në college, edhe pasaj um, e ndërpreva, sepse nuk, nuk i berë do të gjyja, edhe në mendjen time, doja të shkoja një rrët të ndryshe, and now I'm here. Do të shkojnë një rrugë ndryshe për prapë vajtë në originë në ty ku ke filluar. Yeah, I couldn't get away. 4 vite dhe akom aftu. Për që përmëra dhe në shkojnë? Për biznes, edhe për ekonomi, edhe marketing. So, vera business major, um, marketing minor, but doubled për ekonomi. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. So, <laughs> um, edhe kur marova vajta për një chamber of commerce, edhe nuk, nuk e di si ta përkëtejnë në Shqipë, sepse një grup që, që like, 
vetëm për biznes, vetëm për interes të biznes e në qytet, edhe si të bizneset pagon një si për vitin, edhe qimbëri vetë për biznes, vetë ben event për biznes të përmohë, të market, ka qimë gjera që bënë qimbëri. So, u puta në qimbër, pasë saj, bëra shumë programa brenda në qimbër që ishin për finances, finances për biznesit, and, yeah, girl, that's how we're here. Ati mësove shumë. Koma më shumë për biznesit, si si politikën e biznesit, qëfar ka të në atë kohë aty? Më shumë finances, më shumë funding, si të përdojrësh lekë të bankave o të programe që i e pështeti për biznesit, edhe qysh të rritësh biznesin, pa të përdojrësh lekë të tua edhe ndimët që të jep shteti për biznes. Restauranti i pari ishte në në qëtë location? Restauranti i prindive? Ja, ok. So, është në South End of Hartford, ajo është e restauranti i parë, edhe e mora në 2016-ëtën, dhe kur përnoja për qemërin, jetoja këtu në downtown Hartford edhe gustoja të rrit në Franklin Avenue që është ruba që biznesi është sot edhe e pash që ishtë në bruller bëra që research edhe e gjitha kush kisha të building e mora në telefon edhe i thash që oh, it's available like do ta e do me qëra so e mora edhe prindrit They thought I was crazy, but and I gotta say this in English, but they're behind me a thousand percent, no matter what crazy idea I have. So that's amazing. Um, it happened at the business in Mars. It did me judgment against us. So four years later, we're here. Downtown Hartford. Downtown Hartford. Best location in yeah. Hartford. Thank you. And what a what an incredible location. I mean the design aspect. Vete Kemper design? Yeah, Vete um, I love design and that's something that I wanted to go to school for. And um, now I can just design through my restaurants. So those four years that I, I took away from the restaurant industry, I thought I was gonna pursue my design. Uh, life and this actually kind of turned into be my design life so everything from the spaces to the plates to the menus to the shirts to the this to that but they don't show some space yeah the music current so the amount of yeah just have the end yeah paul said say like uh the terrace runs to come on um then the south and they do the attitude to have no west hartford um ebay forgetting so it's <laughs> literally and um, it, it's something that I want to go and see and want to go and be in and da 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 so whatever is like trending and I like and whatever that's what I do the spaces and that's why they're so trendy because I'm just so up on trend and design and, and those things you know so cool thank you thank so, you thank so you I mean you think you should start Shumimat in Connecticut then in America but um Ska shumë vajdhe që janë shqiptare dhe kanë restaurant, you know, se kur kanë mund kytje për punëtorët, për inventory, të ka stam me këtë flasë, ose, you know, edhe ajo është gjere me është bështirë për mua. 
Dip said, like, heard a surround the Tumno, Connecticut, the food dog, and had chin chefs, and they share resources, you know? She can family it to Yeah, family it to the folk, can you eat it in, can shop at Chiyan chefs themselves, you know, the car restaurants, the da da da. So they share those resources, you know, they'll be like, oh, I have a dishwasher for you. And I'm like, I need a fucking dishwasher. <laughs> like, where's my dishwasher? So. <laughs> So, you know, that's, exactly. <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. It's really a matter of resources and it's a matter of sharing those resources. And for me, like if I need to talk to my friend about like, girl, where do I get fillers? I know who to call, but I can't, <laughs> I can't say like, hey, do you know where I can find a dishwasher? Hey, do you know where I can find equipment? Do you know where I can do this? Or, you know, just, it's just so many different variables that are in business. In, in this industry that um, it, it's like you have to go searching yourself, which is fine. Like, I, again, I don't mind it, but it, it really does put you at a disadvantage because there aren't a lot of women in this industry, period. Um, and there are not a lot of well-being women in this industry. So that's even harder, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's hard to connect or hard to have that like immigrant connection. You know, we all have a chip on our shoulder. And we all, we're not just doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for ourselves plus 10 other people, you know what I mean? For that sacrifice of them coming here to be worth it. Um, so it's, it's really difficult to connect with people on that level. And it's difficult for me to connect with other people in this industry on that level because there really is no one I can connect to, you know? And there's really no um, Albanian women outside of, there, there's another Albanian restaurant group, and you know one of the partners there is Mira. She's she's amazing, um, and she's been like a really good shoulder to lean on. But it's like one person out of God knows how many restaurants in this in the state. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's it's difficult, and it's difficult because I think we don't get enough credit. Like this is incredibly volatile. Like this is the most volatile industry you can get into. It's like. 70% fail the first year, you know what I mean? It's not like I can go on Shopify and pop up a restaurant. Like this is a hundred thousand dollars worth of risk that goes into it on top of like people's livelihoods that depend on you every single day, you know? So, it, you know, we, South End is 25 to 30 employees. Here we're gonna have 25 to 30 employees, which right now are training on South End. So we have currently like 45 people. See my John, see for Balon Kashmiris. Um take it a day at a time. <laughs> but it's difficult. It, it's difficult because um it, it's hard to manage people, period, when you're a woman. And I don't like to play that part at all, mm -hmm. but it's really a fact. Like if mm -hmm. I if I were to bring my dad in there, my cooks are listening. If I'm over there, like you're running too late on ticket times, I have to say it 10 times before they hear it. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it's incredibly difficult because everyone thinks you're young, you're cool, we're cool, da da da. But at the end of the day, it's still a business, you know? So you have to try 10 times harder and be way more serious. You can't joke if you joke, it's, you know what I mean? It lines get work really quickly. So. It is difficult, but, you know, I learned a lot through that process because you learn how to deal with so many different personalities and so many different problems. Um, every day you have to deal with somebody's problem, whether they call out sick or they're going through personal things and da da da. And on top of that, your own problems and your business's oh problems.
I think I just really figure out what it is I want to do and where I see myself and like the best version of myself and I just go for that regardless of like again how how anybody um, interprets that version of me so yeah that's pretty much it go ahead girl translate <laughs> Mendoza, nomás unos días, se ha dado tiempo, se ha dado tiempo, versión de mi mir, no bot, y de nato, si me doy un video de versión de mi mir, voy a chitar con el niño de la tierra. I actually try to give back as much as I possibly can, and I think um, I, I donate all the time, like I do as many events and things, you know, charities as possible, but in terms of giving back to my community, like the Albanian community, I want to give back resources because I think they're the hardest things to find in this immigration life. Um, so whatever resource I can find or I get a hold of, I want to give that to someone. Gina, I show me for them back. The most youth mom is like mama and family as good daddy my social in. So yep, show me not for not for organizing the drishma, for for classing for organizing the shiptare. Me di mi sa yash mamir tayapi. Punos the Jay Muncia, the scene, the ship tar, the Yemi Mamir, versimi versus Lek, the Yabi Lex. If the Lek will stop for Nasser, but the Yapish Munsi for you personal Shmoy Mas, the Yapish Nyo Mone, Osta, the Bush at the Me Fag. You translated that beautifully. Oh, really like do your research. Um, I Google things 24 7 and figure out what works for you and that's how you start like as, as long as you start and you're willing to be better at what you do and to learn and to grow that's really all that matters in business um outside of that no one no one has the answers like no if they did there would be no new business you know like they, if, if there was only three people in this world that had answers there would be no new business so just do it just start it and get better learn you know Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're going to translate that one. I see you're in the kind of prodigious, it's even more prodigious. I just want to be clear to the people who are saying, okay, I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I'm going to be a team and I'm going to be a team. I was a prehistoric, but I was a person who 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 was a all over Connecticut and then obviously expand, expand throughout the U.S. Um, I don't know where that's going to take us, but um, I don't see myself, I don't know if the other question was like, seeing myself outside of place to be, there's no such thing. Like this is everything for me. Like this is what I wake up for in the morning. This is what I go to sleep thinking about. This is what I talk about when we're out to eat and everybody's talking about their new booze. I'm talking about place to be. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it, there's nothing like I don't operate outside of that. So, I, but it's fine for me. Like this is my life, and I don't see life outside of it. You know. I look at I look for zero and just when down for place to be. For flan, dream dark when down for place to be. For net darling bash, flat for place to be. Um, but dragon just mong shu. Oh, she correct the cover nose. Oh, so she correct the fiat. So she won't have a place to be. Like I'm in this place. I'm like to hiki in a place to be. No, no, no chance. So do it. Do she ta? Risi sama shum sama shum. So no more than Connecticut. The best time to come on that show is best Connecticut. No, you did. I definitely never take no for an answer. That is my big. And you're the only woman like in the. You know, industry. Like I don't know any other female restaurant owners, so even in Connecticut. So that's talk about that, though. Well, no. So we talked about it before, but one of my biggest things is right. Like the never take no for an answer. Even like the mini. So we got mini champagne bottles. So we have mini Clico bottles, and they're like, uh, no, they're not available in Connecticut. It says who? There's there. always a way. Yeah, there's literally always a way. And I mean, even with this phase, like I got. Uh, <laughs> 
I talked to like 10 different people until I got to the right person because everybody else was giving me a wrong answer. I was like, mm, you're not it, you're not it, you're not it until I got to who owned the damn building. And I was like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, and that's the only way like we've been able to expand because sometimes I'm like, damn, how the hell did I even land this? And it's because I'm crazy enough to be like, mm, I'm gonna call you. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna try this. Like what's the worst that can happen? You're gonna give me a no. Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? So and I and I think that's that's been my mentality for everything. It's like what's the worst that can happen? We're we're just gonna regroup and figure it out again, you know? If you work hard enough at something, again it's gonna happen. Like you can't go to work every day, bust your ass, especially when it's in your own business. It's different when it's somebody else. Bust your ass, do everything you possibly can and get no one through the door. Like that's impossible, you know? So And then place to be grew by word of mouth. I know. Social media. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's nuts. And we are just such a. You talk about you being like 29, though. Online, Montanandishi in Instagram, Vebra Podcast, in Apple, Spotify, the Anchor app. Falimenderi, Deutakovshim, Ne Emissionin Eradas. <laughs>